We now visit Peru where a case of drug trafficking is further staining the reputation of one of the country's oldest political parties. Our correspondent Ryan Mora is in Lima and he filed this. After five months of persecution, Peruvian fugitive Gerald Oropesa, who has been accused of drug trafficking, was captured in Ecuador and brought back on Monday. He was allegedly in charge of smuggling containers of cocaine from Peru to Europe, and his case caught national attention after his luxury Porsche was attacked with a grenade back in April. I take this opportunity, this space, to thank our brothers from the Ecuadorian police that have made this capture possible. We have been working for a while with them, and in many opportunities, the issues of drug and organized crime. Oropesa's case is also politically relevant, since it adds to a series of cases of corruption for which the upper party of former President Alan Garcia is under investigation by a special commission of Congress. Oropesa's father was a leader of APRA until he was murdered under unresolved circumstances earlier this year, and together with his son, they had an unusually profitable cleaning company that benefited from state contracts. This case would account for facts that the Special Commission was not able to investigate, but that show that there are circumstances and links that have favored businesses that are not made adequately clear, and they do indicate there are irregular contracts benefiting companies of members of the APRA party. Rivera believes that the fact that Oropesa justified his lavish expenses through profits of his cleaning company might mean that he was also using the company to launder drug money. It is suspected that his declarations in the next few days will further help cases of corruption against leaders of APRA and affect the elections early next year. Rael Mora, Telesur, Peru.